What's up guys, it's Nikki Bra. Today we are going to talk about temperatures, hot and cold temperatures. Nowadays, there's a trend going on and people, for example, do stupid things like cold showering, uh, cryotherapy, uh, ice, uh, going into ice water, going into cold water, which is absolutely stupid. And in this video, I'm going to explain the mechanics behind it, why it is stupid, why you should avoid it. Um, intuitively, what would you say? What's more comfortable for you? Warm temperature, cold temperature? I think for most, it's obvious, it's warm temperature. In this video, I'm going to tell you two, three examples where you will find out why it's so stupid. So first example, when I was uh, in a club in Moscow, uh, in my home, there are two doors. And I had the keys with me only for the first door. So when I came back, I realized that I forgot my second key to go inside the house. So basically I came, I came back home at like 4 a.m. And it was winter, it was very cold, it was like three months ago. And I was forced to sleep on the Italian marble floor, you know, very cold. Now, something very interesting happened. So I, I slept basically on the floor for four or five hours, then uh, someone opened the door for me. But the same day I had a deep tissue massage. And... The masseuse said that I had unilateral density on one side and it was the side uh, on which I slept because I slept on the side on the floor. I made the connection. I'm doing deep tissue massages now for roughly two years and uh, I made the connection right away. So what happened? What are the mechanics behind it? Is that... Um, there's hypoxia going on. And hypoxia is the process where, let's say you have tissue, and the tissue, it does not get enough oxygen supply, which means there's no solid blood flow going on, and blood transports oxygen to cells, to tissue. So because I slept on one side, it was very cold on one side, the blood flow into this tissue was decreased so there was no oxygen supply basically or at least not enough oxygen supply so what happened is that inflammation went up uh, there was no cell regeneration going on basically so she could feel and i could feel also the pain when she basically massaged the tissue i could feel that on one side it was much much more painful so what happens is cold temperature is basically decreases blood flow and increases hypoxia. So basically there's no efficient nutrient support into the tissue. Now how people argument is they say you go and swim into cold water, you know? Go swim, it's good for the immune system. Now this is point number two, which is also absolutely stupid. They say, oh yes, it boosts the immune system. Go and do your cold showers and so on. It's absolutely idiotic. Why? Because in general, there's uh, this principle that your body's resources are used, first of all, is uh, uh, they are used for immune system, first of all, like priority list. Number one is immune system. Number two is sexual reproduction. Three is the rest, muscle building and so on. Muscle building, for example, is not important for us to survive. For us, it's important immune system that we can defend ourselves against virus, against bacteria, and so on. Second is so we reproduce. And number three is like uh, muscle building and so on and so on. So, when you do cold showers or cold uh, ice baths or what, whatever, you're basically using most precious resources to basically 
fire up the immune system because yes you will fire up your immune system but for no reason there's no reason for you to fire up your immune system with uh, cold showers in the morning so basically every single morning depleting resources which are the most valuable resources because in short immune system molecules immunoglobulins all the molecules that are connected to the immune system are very complex molecules based on protein so you're basically wasting most precious and most complex resources of your body for no reason doing cold showers in the morning you want to use these resources when it's time when when there's a reason to for example you're getting sick or whatever you're getting a virus then you want to have enough resources basically so this argumentation is absolutely one-dimensional yes it's not it's not well uh, thought through you know so there's one exception though oh let, let's let me tell you another story is that my grandpa uh, in the winter he often went ice fishing so this is in Russia where well when the river is uh, is all ice uh, people still need to get some fish so what they do is they make a hole in the ice and then they start to fish basically but one time a friend of his he be, he uh, he fell in the water because the ice broke and he died because of it because of kidney failure and you will now you will understand why because hypoxia in this area the kidney was not supplied with enough oxygen with enough blood so basically kidney failure happened so now people are doing ice baths because they think it's uh, it's healthy but you can actually even damage your organs from it yes maybe if you go after the if you go out after the ice bath you have warm clothes you can uh, warm yourself up but still you can uh, get organ damage i mean it's uh, absolutely stupid i know nowadays there's like several methods from bearded men's look at me i'm looking like a shaman or whatever uh, but uh, people look at it it uh, looks sensational it looks interesting but uh, after all it's absolutely unhealthy there's one exception where you should go and do cold showers and this is when you go to sauna or when you go to banya also not obligatory this is only for intermediate or professional banya goers like me you go into the banya for example 100 degrees 120 degrees then you go outside cold shower then you go back why what happens is in banya very um very uh hot temperatures and uh, then you go out into cold shower then your blood vessels basically get they expand and then they retract and then after the cold shower you go back into the sauna for hot temperature they expand again what happens is your uh your um uh your blood vessels get elastic basically so this is good for overall blood flow for blood circulation so on average you will have more flexible uh, blood vessels which leads leads to overall better blood circulation which leads to overall uh, overall better metabolism and which leads to overall better nutrient supply which leads to overall less hypoxia in your body so this is the reason and the only uh, moment where cold showers basically make sense is in between sauna in between uh, banya sets basically but doing cold shower solo is stupid you're just wasting most precious resources ice baths organ damage hypoxia levels go up always remember the example i told you the unilateral hypoxia i got after i slept on the floor the masseuse could feel it right away i made the connection right away that well hypoxia inflammation went up so cold temperatures in general try to avoid it's uh 
it's not healthy, it doesn't make any sense. So, if you need help with boosting your metabolism, blood flow, if you need help with decreasing hypoxia levels, because this is in, extremely important for performance levels, imagine uh, you have high level of hypoxia, you can high levels of hypoxia in your brain, so how do you want to think properly? How do you want to perform properly if you don't have enough oxygen supply? So, uh, if you want, obviously, if you want to learn how to do banya properly, you can message me anytime, because uh, I mean, banya professional all my life, basically, you know. So you can message me on social media, uh, for example, Instagram at Nikibra, or just visit my page nikibra.com. We will get in touch. I will check out what's your situation, what are your goals. You will let me know what you expect, what you want to do, and I will give you uh, a rough estimation how we will approach and how much time we need. And uh, we will increase your performance and we will improve your metabolism right away. You will feel it within a couple of weeks already. And yeah, avoid cold showers and go to Banya. That's it, my friend. See you in the next video.